How's it going everybody? I'm Jason with the Review Suite and in this video I'm going to show you how to install RetroPie on your Raspberry Pi Zero W. So to get started you're going to need a Raspberry Pi. Again I'm using the Raspberry Pi Zero W and you can purchase the boards as is for about 10 bucks. You can also purchase the Pi Zero W with a kit that usually comes with the heat sink GPIO port, power supply, micro USB to USB hub, and micro HDMI to HDMI. Prices may vary on each kit, so I'll leave links down in the description. The next item you'll need is a micro SD card. Now you'll need the micro SD card to install RetroPie, and for this build I'm going with a 32 gigabyte SanDisk. Now you won't need a full 32 gigabytes, but I do recommend at least a 16 gigabyte card. So the kit I'm using for this build is from Unistorm. Comes with the case, the heat sink, and all your other peripherals. This case will run you about nine bucks, and again, I'll leave a link down in the description. Now that we have the hardware out of the way, we need to prep the SD card for RetroPie. To flash the SD card, we're going to use a program called Etcher. Etcher is free and it works with Mac OS and Windows. Once you finish downloading Etcher, you want to go ahead and install it. Once Etcher is installed, you want to download the image for RetroPie. Once you reach the RetroPie webpage, you want to click Downloads or Get RetroPie. Make sure you click the version for the RetroPie 0 and 1. Now that we have Etcher installed and our image of RetroPie downloaded, we can go ahead and flash the SD card. Now the SD card I have came with an adapter, so make sure you have one of those or a USB dongle that supports micro SD. Etcher should automatically detect your SD card, but double check anyway to make sure you are selecting the correct drive. After you selected your SD card, click flash. Flashing your SD card might take a few minutes, so just grab a snack or get ready to prep your Raspberry Pi. Now that the flash is complete, we can set up our Raspberry Pi. We have our SD card inserted into the Pi, we have our heatsink installed, and all of our other cables ready to go. Now when you plug in your power adapter, you'll notice that the Pi is working when you see the onboard green LED flashing. Give it a few seconds and you will enter the welcome screen. From here you can set up RetroPie with a keyboard or a USB controller. Here I'm using the DualShock 4 controller and setup is pretty self-explanatory. Once your setup is done, you'll reach the RetroPie home screen. If you want to set up a wireless and Bluetooth connection, you will need to plug in your keyboard. Inside the configuration menu, you have options to set up the Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, splash screens, and everything else. The last thing I want to show you guys is how to transfer ROMs from your Mac to your Pi Zero. Now this is pretty simple. Your Pi Zero and your Mac have to be connected to the same network. Once that's done, open Finder, and under Locations, click Network. Your RetroPie should show up in the network list. Open that and then click ROMs. The list will give you all of these systems available in RetroPie. Whatever ROMs you have, you want to drag them over into those respective files. Game Boy Advance ROMs go in Game Boy Advance, Sega Genesis to Sega or Mega Drive, and so forth. Once the transfer is done, restart your RetroPie, and then you should be able to see all of the systems available on your RetroPie. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is pretty much it. You're all good to go. Now with the RetroPie Zero W, you'll want to stick with systems like Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and Sega Genesis. The Pi Zero W is really not strong enough to handle systems like N64 and PlayStation. So just keep that in mind. But that's going to do it for me today, guys. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. I'll try my best to answer them. If you are interested in single board computer content, let me know by hitting that like button and subscribe to the review suite. I'm Jason, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.